Oh, Snooze. we shouldn't be yeah. kissing in the hospital, should we? I don't know if we should be kissing. Oh, 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 oh. Whoa, that's intense. I gotta get a picture of that. Hey everyone, before today's video starts, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also ring the bell so you never miss any of my videos. And if you do that, comment down below hashtag aviator squad. Now enjoy the video. Hey Quincy, there you are. So many people are complaining that you are not living your life to the full potential. They're telling me that your life is too short and they want longer episodes of your life. What was that, Quincy? What are you saying? Oh, you're saying if people want daily videos of The Sims 4 Get Famous, they should smash that like button? Wait, wait, you're saying something else? Wait, what is it? Wait, you're saying if this video gets 1,500 likes, we'll make sure this next video's 15 minutes or longer? Okay, everybody, you heard the man. If we get 750 likes on this video, you get another video tomorrow. But if we get double that, 1,500 likes, I'll make the episodes 15 minutes the next day. And I'm not gonna lie, that's a lot of work. A 15 minute video that you're watching actually takes me like 45 minutes to film. Plus editing and thumbnail costs, and it's all very expensive. But enough about begging for likes. Today, we have a huge day ahead of us. As you can see, Quincy's looking pretty spiffy. And there's a reason for that. Today, Quincy's director of his next big television role is coming over to visit and spend some quality time. By quality time, I mean we're gonna be kissing his butt. Or her butt, you know, equal opportunity employer. If you don't remember the gig, well, it's a residency of the heart episode. It's one of the biggest TV shows ever. And we need to develop a friendship with our director, work on our charisma skill, and research our flirty emotion. Hey, if our director's a girl, we can knock out a few birds with one stone. Then I think after this gig, we're gonna fire our talent agency and look for another one, because they're not paying us anywhere close Close to four thousand dollars. Okay, so to invite over our director and co-stars, we just gotta click this button and magic. We're calling them. Hopefully they answer, and hopefully they say yes. Did they say? Did they answer? Did they say yes? Hello, I didn't even see anybody answer the door or the phone. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, hey, here it's a girl. It's a girl. It's a girl. Okay, she's an adult. It doesn't say if she's the director or the co-star. I mean, I think she's. I, I mean, we don't know who she is. Uh, let's give a friendly introduction. Oh God, there's a lot of people coming over here. I think. At least two. This girl just like literally just walked into our house. Hey, yo, what's your name? Saya, you can't just walk into people's homes, okay? I don't know which one's the director. I mean, it doesn't actually say who's the director. Is it this dude out here? Why is he out there when he should... Okay, call him over. Because clearly he's not in the house. Hey, dude, friend, guy. Get inside the house. I'm supposed to make friends with you. It says it's uh, completed, so I mean... We've done it already, so whoever this guy is, I mean, it now doesn't really matter. As soon as he gets over here, I'm gonna ask him to leave. LEAVE! Get out of here! We don't wanna talk to- Where are we going? Quincy, you come back. Since we have a little bit of spare time, we probably should practice our charisma skill because that's an important acting skill. Let's get better at talking! Acting, one of the loneliest hobbies you could ever find. Where you just sit in front of a mirror and act like an idiot for hours on end. And we have two random people sitting in our living room. I know they're co-stars of ours, but uh, why won't they leave? Holly Alto's calling. Let's answer. Huh, she wants us to go to a bar on a date? Uh, fine. Okay, so now we're on a date with Holly, who's a B-list celebrity, may I add. That's bigger than us, more famous than us. And since we're in public, Hugging her and doing stuff like that might make us kind of cool. I don't know why she's sitting at the table with this dude. And we're having our date from over here, but it's just extremely awkward. Nothing like cloud gazing on a sunny day. Ah, burning your retinas out in the sun. So much fun. Oh my god, this is awkward. There's people taking pictures of us as we're literally laying on the ground in a public space, which it makes it really weird. Look at this. This guy, just, uh, how about this dude? You take a picture of me? How about this? We take a picture of you. How does that sound? You not like that? Get out of my way. I'm trying to take a picture of this pooperuzzi. There it is. <laughs> Vanessa said she heard that we became good friends with Holly. Uh-oh. She said she's pretty cool, though. It looks like some type of book club is meeting here, and there's a celebrity here who's a proper celebrity. She looks pretty old, but she's only an adult. We should try to introduce ourselves to this old lady that's actually not an old lady, because she's only an adult. But she's meant to look pretty old. This old lady's kind of mean, I'm not gonna lie. 
She's not enjoying anything. Oh, wait, she just liked that. Quincy, good job. Whoa, it looks like we're actually making friends with Britain. What is her name? Brittany? 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 Brightney? I don't know. Let's maybe imply attraction to her and see if she likes it. <gasps> Ooh, she does. Now, remember, guys, she's actually an adult. She's not an old lady. Let's make a naughty suggestion to her. I mean, that might go a long way. So, is she gonna like this naughty suggestion? Is she a bad girl? Bad? Did she like it? I can't tell. I like how we're on a date with some other girl. Uh, Holly, and then we're like about to kiss this girl's hand. She's an old lady. I mean, she's not an old lady, but she's old enough. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, she didn't like the kiss on the hands. God dang it. We can attempt a first kiss on her, but she didn't... She definitely didn't like the hand thing, so, I mean, I don't think that's gonna go over great. Uh-oh. Holly just said, well, I guess this is goodbye. Um, don't call me ever. Holly! Why so bitter? Well, I mean, since Holly kind of abandoned us, I think we got to call that old lady over to our house. We do need to research the flirty emotion. Brightney, can we can we invite her over? I know she's a celebrity. Can we not invite her over? Oh, come on. Come on. We're lovebirds, but yet we can't invite her over. Okay, so Ira is the director of Prime TV. So what we're going to do is we're going to invite her over and maybe get a little jiggy with it. You know, sleep your way to the top type of deal. So we're gonna get to know her. It seems that she's a vegetarian. We can tell her jokes about penguins. We can discuss her interests. We can talk about the sunny weather. Uh, maybe uh, enthuse about great guitar solos. Uh, ask about her day, ask about her career, stuff like that, you know, just the basics. I mean, we have to, uh, you know, execute the flirty emotion, and a lot of you guys told me to take some type of steamy shower, so, I mean, we're gonna do that. So when we're showering, getting all steamy for Ira, she's just sitting here watching some TV, which is great. Okay, so we're inspired. We do have a little bit of flirtiness to us, so let's come in here and start to seal the deal. Let's go to romance, and let's flirt with her a little bit. And then let's go to romance, and let's ask if she's single. And then let's go to romance and maybe send a pickup line her way. Now, she is going to be directing our TV show tomorrow, so that could be pretty interesting if this goes wrong. But hopefully it doesn't. Let's ask her a risque question, too. You know, just all sorts of things to get in the more flirty mood. So we learned that she is single. We're feeling all sorts of flirty now. The flirting's working. I mean... Uh, why is she? Okay, she's watching a scary movie. I'm like, why is she having these reactions? We're feeling a little embarrassed. That's not good. That's that. We almost have researched this emotion though, which is good. So even if it goes bad, we got this done. The flirty emotions has been researched. She's leaving. She's leaving the house. I run. Okay, well, I guess I guess that's it. That's how it, this this day ends with you, Quincy. I guess for now we're gonna sleep the night away and then we have our gig in the morning. Oh, wait, we're already awake? What time is it? Four in the morning? This is a little too early to wake up. Oh, it's because we got poop. Oh no. We haven't even done a scene in the bathroom today. That's not typical of us. There we go, good Quincy poop action. A little bit of shower action too for the ladies. Bum chicka wow wow, bum chicka chicka wow. Then for all you people that are starving out there, a little bit of a mukbang. A lot of food eating. Uh, who likes that? And then, and, and then we're gonna whisper. And this is some ASMR for the people that like ASMR. So we're just hitting all the trends today. Okay, Quincy. Now that you're done, clean that up. I mean, you need a little bit of fun right now. So let's play some games. Maybe some party frenzy. I really like how the house is looking. The house is just looking all sorts of dope and fly right now. Like, look at this. It's a beautiful home. Okay, something we haven't done in a couple of days is make some YouTube videos. So let's quickly study the trends. Vampire lore, fashion tips, confident vlog, and fishing. How do you unlock, like, fishing and vampire tips? We're gonna do a fashion tip video. You know, Quincy's pretty good at beauty. He's Guy Fab. And he's continuing that brand with fashion. I mean, maybe he's doing his Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday look right now. Like, look at this. I mean, we're just changing clothes in this video. It's it's very fashion forward. Wow, every time he changes clothes, we're literally in the same outfit. I mean, not very fashionable. Wow, that was quick. So our gig starts in like an hour. In an hour, we gotta go to it. We pretty much, I think we did do everything that they asked. So this should go amazingly. The video's almost done. Oh, we did it, fashion tips video. What do we wanna call this? Guy Fab Dress uh, Attire. I'm spelling something wrong, I feel. Guy Fab Dress Attire. I know I spelled the tire wrong. I feel like it's wrong. I feel like that's wrong. Guy Fab Dress Time Fun Video. There. I mean, that's that, there's no spelling errors in that. How to look Guy Fab. You know, Guy Fabulous. Let's go to work. Finally in hair and makeup, hoping he doesn't make us look all silly again. 
And bald. I mean, it looks very dramatic. Wow, we look like some type of soap opera serial villain. And there's our uh, costume as our power just got shut off. Great. We did just get our YouTube royalties, though. It was like $2,500. But quickly, let's rehearse our acting scenes as this guy washes his hands. Oh, he's just drinking water out of the sink in the bathroom. You know, no big deal. And now we're standing around the food area gossiping about all these other actors and how we almost kissed an old lady. So we just told the director that we're ready to perform our big scene. Now, as you can see, they got all the sets set up here. It's a doctor's office. We're a doctor. Let's do a... You don't want to do the death scene first. Let's see, what can we do? Shouting forbidden words... Ah, a risky flirting scene in the hospital. Why are we always kissing dudes, dude? And the scene is in place. It's a very romantic doctor scene. Doctor on nurse type of making out. I think that's what's about to happen here. Let's see if Quincy can pull this daring scene off. Wow, it was just romantic, no kissing. And we both have to whoo afterwards. Oh, here's the risky kiss scene. This is where all you guys get to be excited because we're about to make out on camera. Oh, we shouldn't be kissing in the hospital, should we? I don't know if we should be kissing. Oh, whoa, that's intense. I got to get a picture of that. Wow. Okay, the risky kiss scene is over. Now we're going to go yell at a pregnant mom for some reason. I have no idea why we would do this. But let's just do it. Action. You're so stupid and pregnant. God, you're dumb and pregnant. Your baby's probably gonna be just as dumb as you, dumb pregnant lady. Yeah, smack you in the face with my arm. How about this? You're not getting treated at my hospital ever again, stupid pregnant lady. And there we go. Good cut. Good, good take. Now, this is the scene here where we die. Which, I mean, we're gonna play this obviously very risky, you guys. Uh, comedy. Oh, God, my stomach. I think I'm pregnant. Oh, no. I died just like the pregnant lady. Ugh. Oh, that was quick. Now we have to perform the treating patient scene after we already died. I mean, I think we did these scenes in reverse order. Okay, ma'am, we got to treat you. Got to get that monstrosity out of your belly. Here, let me just flash this light in your eyes. Oh, no, you got crossed eye disease. That's not good. That's a 10. Okay, got to go. We only got silver. I mean, that's our first time ever only getting silver, so that kind of sucks. I mean, that's a wrap. The crew is shutting down. We made $2,600. Good news, though, we were promoted to sitcom star and new di auditions have become available. Bad news is, well, not bad news. Get out of here. Stop calling me. The bad news is we're going to be uh, contacting our our agency and firing them. Oh, I forgot our power's on. I'm like, why is it dark in here? So we're with well-suited talent agency. But if we join the grand talent agency, we get uh, uh, some caring guidelines. I mean, I don't know. I guess there's no one better than who we're with right now, which kind of sucks. So here's all the open auditions, and I mean, none of these pay $4,000. But the Apocalypse Rise, it pays anywhere up to $2,800. And it looks like we have an audition tomorrow night at 7 p.m. for that. And we need le fitness level 5, which I think we already have. 7. Yeah. But uh, we probably should pay our bills, get our electricity turned on. $700. My God. But now Quincy has to do his second job, and that's making YouTube videos. It brings in the serious buckaroonies. But guys, that's where we're going to end this video today. If you enjoyed it, make sure you smash that like button. Like I said, 750 likes on this video, and you get another video tomorrow. 1,500 likes, and you get 15 minutes plus. But until next time, guys, remember to take it easy. Live it squeezy.